of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. A blessed Easter to you and your families and loved ones as we gather today on this Easter Sunday. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, seeking God's pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. beloved Son, you conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. 
Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good in healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not what is on earth. 
For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ in your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Victime Pascale Laudes, Imole Christiani, Agnus Redit Mitoves, Christus Innocens Patri, Reconcilia Vit, Pecatores. Mors et Vita Duelo, Conflicts Ire Mirando, Dux Vite Motus, Regnat vivus, dignobis Maria, qui vidis di in via, sepulcrum Christi viventis, et gloria vidi resurgentis. Angelicos testes, sudarium et vestes, Surexit Christus pes mea, precede tuos in Galilea. Shimus Christum surexit se, amor tuis vere, tu nobis victorex miserere. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb, and behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and said upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him and became like dead men. Then the angel said to the women in reply, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus, the crucified. He is not here. For he has been raised, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce this to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, 
embraced his feet and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Through the words of the Holy Gospel, may my sins be blotted away. We have experienced a Lent, and now an Easter, unlike any other in our lifetimes, without our coming together in prayer in church, and even our family gatherings smaller, we search the empty tomb of these days to find the deeper meaning of our faith. We have put ourselves away from others out of care for their health and well-being. We stand together as we stand apart. Recently, I was doing some shopping for some needed items, and I sensed a commonality with other people in the store. Of course, there was a sense of crisis and difficulty, but we all smiled at each other. We made room for shopping carts, and we greeted each other in the silence of caring and being present. During these days, we look for blessings hidden in the midst of our struggles, as people of faith have always done. We thank God for the gift of simply being alive, for the warmer weather that tells us that spring is upon us, for technology that enables us to be in touch with one another, we pray for those people who are on the front lines of this historic time of pandemic, for medical personnel who care for those who are ill, for our police, law enforcement, and firefighters, for our emergency medical technicians, and for those who enable food to be stocked and made available in our stores. We pray for families who are living a kind of forced closeness, for their peace and patience during the long days and sometimes sleepless nights. We pray for schools, we pray for businesses struggling to keep afloat. We pray for our national and church leaders who need wisdom and compassion to make decisions that touch so many. We are all affected by the unexpected turn of events, and so we pray for each other on this Easter Sunday. Today's Gospel tells us that an angel of the Lord rolled back the stone. It also tells us that Jesus met the disciples on their way, he greeted them and said, Do not be afraid. The stone of the coronavirus, it will eventually be rolled back, and we shall rise from the pain that has been felt by so many. We are currently in a very difficult experience. But Jesus will meet us on our way through this. And we too can hear his words, do not be afraid. Even though it is understandable that people would be frightened. For we long to be free of this virus that keeps us away from each other. It keeps us away from our families and our friends. But we must still celebrate Easter in our hearts and in our homes. And we know this too will pass, and our faith in the Lord Jesus and one another will free us from our exile one day soon, when we will celebrate the opening of the doors to our homes and our churches. It will be a resurrection moment. 
It will be a time to proclaim to the whole world, Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Indeed, he is risen. For our faith is in the Lord Jesus, who speaks to our hearts this Easter day. Peace, do not be afraid. May his words give us hope and the promise that we shall be raised up together with him now and forever. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. For thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the dead, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we will profess our faith today, and please respond, I do. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, we now renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. In all his works? I do. In all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I, I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. We now offer these prayers and petitions to our risen Lord. For church leaders, may they be fortified by the risen Lord working in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected leaders, may God's wisdom guide them in their work to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering in the current outbreak of the coronavirus might be healed, and for the repose of the souls of all who have died from the illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who serve the common good during this difficult and uncertain time may be filled with wisdom and compassion and for an end to the coronavirus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as we share the benefits of our blessings by giving to the annual diocesan appeal, we may better know Jesus by following his example of caring and sharing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those on our prayer list, that they may find support from friends and family and may rely on God's guidance and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ, especially the Gilchrist and White families, Gordon S. Dakota, Jasmine Anderson, R.J. Dakota, James Juxnick, Rose M. Warshaw, Denise Richard, 
Paula de Priest, the members of St. Francis Xavier Cathedral, and the Flavin family. May they embrace, may they be embraced by the risen Lord this day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, who knows that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry out to you today and receive the prayers of those who believe in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they
are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain and inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis Xavier, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. 
to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ give you safely to our life. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed, alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. He has answered and freed me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. There is the long-standing tradition in our church of receiving a spiritual communion, a well-established devotional practice of uniting oneself in prayer with Christ's sacrifice. When circumstances prevent one from participating in the Mass and receiving Holy Communion, I invite you to repeat with me the following act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present. I believe, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. And in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you in my soul. And I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never, Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. We also have a letter from Archbishop Amen. He's of course, you know the Apostolic Administrator of our diocese. He's also the Archbishop of, of New Orleans. And he writes, to the clergy, religious, and laity of the Diocese of Alexandria, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Easter 2020 will have its own unique chapter in history. Throughout Holy Week and Easter Sunday, we usually gather in our churches to celebrate the solemn liturgies. This year is indeed different as we endure the coronavirus and are called to small group gatherings and to social distancing. Though we cannot gather in our churches, we are called to enter into prayer and walk with Jesus in his suffering, death, and resurrection. These days call us to spend additional time in prayer, choose a gospel account, and reflect on Jesus' journey to Calvary and the tomb. In the midst of that prayer, we also hear Jesus say in Matthew's gospel, if you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me. I have heard some ask, is this coronavirus God's punishment on the world? No. The God who loves us is not a God of revenge or condemnation, but a God who calls us to be converted to his love and mercy. God allows tragedies to call us to a greater dependence upon him as the God of our lives and promises that out of this darkness, he will bring hope and new life. Many in our community are suffering physically and emotionally. We ask God's healing for the ill and eternal rest. 
for those who have died from the virus. There is anxiety as we wonder about the future, our employment, finances, school, basic security, and care for our families. In the midst of all these questions, Jesus says, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peace be with you, as he said to the disciples after his resurrection. We must open our hearts and see him standing outside the tomb, offering to bring light into our darkness. Please remember health care professionals and all who serve at this time. A special word of thanks to our clergy who have provided opportunities for us to grow spiritually. May the peace of the risen Christ bring light into any darkness you experience and hope in this time of uncertainty. Wishing you the blessings of the risen Christ in remembrance at Easter Mass, I am faithfully in Christ, Most Reverend Gregory M. Amen, Apostolic Administrator of the Diocese of Alexandria. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. In behalf of all our clergy here at the cathedral, again, we wish you and your family and friends a blessed Easter. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia.